We've got to try and get better between now and next week. We've got to try and increase our performance by 5%. I mean, it'd be too much for asking, asking a bit more than that uh, in such a short period of time. We take uh, some some hope out of today on the second half performance, not the first half, but certainly the second half performance, and uh, and see if we can build on that and, uh, and, and go that little bit farther and make sure that it's a result at the end of the day and not a defeat. The camera picked you up after the penalty, saying to Erling Haaland, you have to take it. Yeah, because the game is not over. First take is Kellen, and after that one, I understand. That, that means how nice is Erling, mm. how generous and how special person he is. But uh, yeah, when the game is 2-0, the 4-0, 10 minutes left, it's okay. But with 2-0, who's the best taker penalty by far right now is Erling, I have to take it. First he has shown that to Erling, that he was <laughs> quite mad about that, and afterwards, uh, he had a goal also uh, at me, and I was actually confident to score. Um, and then uh, sometimes how it is, um, they go on the counter, you know, they, they score they score a goal. Um, and of course, we deserved uh, to get the three points today. Uh, we'll come to that uh, very shortly. It was a lot more dominant victory probably than the scoreline suggests. Mm. Uh, but let's start with Gundogan, the hero. <laughs> yeah, City played really well, particularly Gundogan. They worked out what Leeds were going to do and how to counteract that. And we've seen it, seen them do it so many times, how they make the pitch big, they get into the positions, deep into their uh, into the 18-yard box and then pull it back. They had a warning, Leeds, and this is exactly what the warning was. Well, Alvarez, that's what Leeds did, the vast majority of the first half, got men in behind the ball, but they didn't pick up, they didn't mark. That was Alvarez, that was the best chance after 10 minutes or so, and he skies it over the bar, so that was the warning. But then Gundogan took centre stage in terms of his finishes, particularly, the, the, well, the first two anyway. Again, make the pitch big. Stretch them. Again, Leeds get men in behind the ball. But look at Gundogan, look where he goes, look how much space he's got. There's the nine defenders in the box there trying to make it difficult, but they all forget about him. I mean, it's such a clever finish. And you can see it just it just kisses in the uh, inside of the post. Very clever finish, but to give anyone that amount of space, let alone him, this is almost identical. A few minutes later, similar thing. There's the numbers. There's them stretching the pitch. But on this occasion, he actually gets time to take a touch. Then he looks up, goes to the other side, but you cannot give anyone that amount of space, particularly Man City players who were flying, yeah. getting result after result. And But second, <coughs> uh, first half, I should say, they were superb yeah. and could have been more. To the mm. penalty, and you could say Gundogan the villain, but of course he's not, because <laughs> anyone can miss a penalty. But it, it, it was interesting, especially Pep's reaction and mm. stuff. And uh, <laughs> Two strikers here to, yeah. do took penalty. Well, yeah. three of us took penalties. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think you'd you give know, them Sammy, away, do you? <laughs> it was, um, like Pep said, it was a nice gesture for, for Herland, saying how kind yeah. he is, but... Like I said, it's 2-0. It's the kind of thing for me that what happens is what could happen and what experienced people are saying why the main penalty taker should yeah. take it. Because, you know, he takes it, to be fair, I think <clears> the goalkeeper gets a fingertip or whatever, but he misses and then Leeds go and score the other end. Now, I mean, like for me, for example, I know for a fact that if that happened and we miss because I gave it to someone else, Tony Adams would probably not be happy with that. I know George yeah. Graham definitely yeah. wouldn't be. I don't care whether it's 2-0 or 7 if you're the penalty taker. You've got to go and take the penalty. Speaking of which, Seven. Uh, wasn't there some time way back when I recall when a yes. youngster tried to take a penalty off you? Yeah, we were winning 7-0, Gary, against Sheffield Wednesday at home. Um, Bobby Robson's first home game. I'd already scored four. And we got another penalty with a few minutes left and the young kid come on, Paul Robinson, and asked me and said, in a polite way, he said, can I have the penalty? You can imagine my response, it ended with off. <laughs> <laughs> I did exactly the same thing with David Platt in a World Cup quarter-final. <laughs> exactly well, Platt, he wanted one. Uh, Platt, he wanted to take it. Uh, yeah, no, it's a fair play to him. He mm. said, well, if you don't fancy it, and I just said something. <laughs> exactly, off. same thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was always going to be, be difficult for Leeds, a tough one, even for, you know, for Sam Dallardyce, come in to try and yeah. make an impact against the team that is in such imperious form. Well, if you listen to Sam after the game, he said they're going to have to improve at least 5%. And yes, that's right, but what they're also going to have to improve on is when the ball goes up to him, if they're yeah. going to play that same system, he's got to do better. He's got to give his teammates a chance. I know it's very difficult for him because there's no one within 20 or 30 yards of his teammates, but he's got to hold the ball up better to give them a chance to get up not only that 
but it also gives his defence a bit of a breather because if they don't, the ball keeps coming back at them straight away. That's a simple touch to keep hold of that ball. Again here, that he gives it handball, it's just poor play there, but because what happens, it's relentless. When you're playing against better teams, if you keep on doing that, then they keep on coming at you and eventually they're going to score. I think this is a really good run, but again, it's a poor touch in there. You've got, to, you've got to get that into the corner to allow your teammates to get up. And again, it seems very rushed here. Take a touch, be a bit more composed, allow players to try and get up to another 15 yards further up the park, and then that gives you an opportunity to try and, and sort and create stuff. <coughs> Uh, Leeds were the only um, team that are in that kind of relegation fight that played today. Um, and obviously they didn't get any points, but it was always unlikely at Manchester City. So, I mean, it's oh. going to be tight, isn't it? It's any two from... Any two from well, that next home game, right. isn't it? Nottingham Forest against Southampton is huge. I think Southampton are already gone. Um, but I think it's going to be tough for Leeds. Yeah. yeah. Particularly where they defend. Mm. OK.